Hey, this is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel, and we're going to have some fighting words. But before we go any further, I need for you to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. So in this video, I've already done a fight breakdown for Marion Burials versus Keith Thurman. So this is the fight breakdown for Keith Thurman versus Mario Burials. And if you haven't already seen that video, go check it out. It has a lot of things in there, a lot of little intricate little things that may be some things you just might not even be aware of, and little tactics that I think could help Mario Burials. So go check that video out, and then this one might even make a whole lot more sense to you if you do. But without further ado, let's get it going. So in this video, like I said, we're doing a fight breakdown, Keith Thurman versus Mario Burials. Now, the first thing that I thought when I heard about this fight was why. Um, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You got two guys coming off losses, but the only difference is one guy's coming up from 140, you know, so it just really didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But, you know, for whatever reasons, Mario Burials felt, you know what, this isn't the way for me. Maybe I would have had a better showing against Gervonta Tank Davis if I had more weight on me. Maybe he was drained. I don't know. Only he knows. It's his body. So we're going to move on from that. And we're going to talk about Keith Thurman. Now, Keith Thurman also is coming off a loss from Manny Pacquiao. And it's been quite some time since he's been in the ring. Um, we're going to see how he looks. I think this is, I think he's making his second run. Uh, I don't think. He's making his second run. Uh, he's pretty much lost everything that he that he's had. I mean, at one point in time, Keith Thurman was the man. And, you know, he had two straps walking around with him. Now he doesn't have a strap at all. And now he's just trying to regain what he had from, you know, I'd probably say, what, 2018? So I'm still not 100% sure on why this particular opponent was chosen for him to begin his run. Um, I mean, it makes sense. You want to go up against somebody maybe you feel you can beat. You have been gone for a long time, and the last showing that you had was a a loss, and it was a heartfelt loss. So maybe, who knows? I'm not saying he's cherry pick or anything like that, but I mean, it, I got to call a spade a spade. It looks like a cherry pick. Uh, I mean, you're not even fighting a full-fledged welterweight. You're fighting a 140-pounder, so I really don't know what's up with that. Um, that's some behind the scenes stuff, some, you know, backroom conversations. But the first thing I thought, you know, when, when I saw this fight announced was, okay, so you want to make a statement because that's the only thing that you can do. I, I hope that's your intention because you got to keep in mind, this could possibly be a lose, 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 lose situation for Keith Thurman. Why? Because he's going up against a guy who's coming up off a loss. But on top of that, He's a smaller guy coming up off a loss. But on top of that, he's a smaller guy who got beat by an even smaller guy. Javante Tank Davis once fought at 130 pounds, and that wasn't that long ago. It was like one or two fights ago. And he's not, he's he's beating you up, and he, he puts you down three times. And then Keith Thurman says, I'm going to make my great comeback. And what am I going to do? Let me, let me see, go through the possible opponents for me to go up against. I think I'll take on Mario Barrios, who just got beat by a smaller guy. I don't know the thought process behind that, but my only thought and the only true thought that you can have is, okay, you want to make a statement. That's it. You just want to make a statement. You want to come back. You want to do a dramatic knockout. That's it. That's the only thing that came to my mind. Now, when I say make a statement, I'm not talking about a dog fight. I'm not talking about... Keith Thurman trying to rehash what he did with Manny Pacquiao. I'm not talking about that. And he should not do that. And this fight better not look anything like that. Because in my personal opinion, if this turns out to be a long, drawn-out dog fight, and this fight goes the distance, he, despite getting his hand raised in the end, he lost. Because, again, Barrios was beaten by a 130-pounder. So, who dropped him? That's nothing to brag about if you go the distance. It's nothing to brag about if Barrios' corner throws the towel in in round nine because you two are just beating the snot out of each other and you're both bloody and you look like Rocky and you look like Drago. No, that's not a good look. Um, the only thing that, the only possible look that, that can occur from this is that you turn into one time and you flatline Barrios. 
That's the only way that we're honestly going to be able to respect this fight. That's the only way that we're going to, I guess, like, accept you back in to the fold. Like, because you shouldn't be fighting this guy anyway. But if you're going to fight him, I'm expecting one time. I'm expecting a knockout. I'm expecting a dramatic Deontay Wilder-like knockout. I'm not expecting a decision. I'm not expecting a dogfight. I'm not expecting, you know, he knocks you down, you knock him down. I don't want to see that either. I want to see one time. That is the only reason you're fighting Burials. I hope that's the only reason you're fighting Burials. Just to get your name back on the board. Just get back on the scoreboard. Because anything else is silly. So that means, since this is a fight breakdown, I don't want to see uh, Keith Thurman going back and forth with Barrios. I don't want to see a slugfest. I want to see slick boxing. I want to see you hitting him and you not getting hit. I want to see you walking him down because you're the bigger man. I want to see you throwing bombs from round one. I, I don't I don't want to see you trying to measure up Mario Barrios. Well, I, I don't want to see that. I hope any, nobody in their right mind wants to see that. We should not see that, okay? You're bigger than him. You're stronger than him. You face much tougher opposition. Okay, he only has, realistically speaking, one name on on his belt. You have a few, and you had a, you you had a living legend in your last showing. So I, I don't want to see you go the distance with Mario Barrios. I don't want to see Mario Barrios lump you up for like three rounds in a row. I don't want to see Mario Barrios walk you down. I don't want to see Mario Barrios put you in the corner. If you go down at any point, I don't know what to think of that. And at least for me, that would say, all right, it's time for you to leave the division. Because if you can't handle this, this individual, you can't handle this guy. What are you going to do with the rest of those guys? Those guys are animals. Like, what are you going to do with those guys? So I'm expecting a clean, crisp, sharp, short fight. From Keith one time Thurman. Nothing less. Anything under that, I'm sorry. I consider that a loss. I consider that missed opportunity. So he has to be real careful how he plays this one out. Um, he, again, Keith Thurman going there, turn into one time. This fight should not go past five rounds. And if it goes five rounds, then you should have at least three knockdowns in this guy. Walk him down, power punches. That's the way this fight should go. Um, and then who knows? I mean, he's also talking about, you know, 2020 years, 2022 is going to be a big year for him. So I really don't know who's who's coming next. I mean, to be honest with you, because I know he's not fighting anybody like, you know, Virgil Ortiz or Jerron Ennis, but he's talking like, you know, this is going to be a big year for me. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. We Only thing that I can say and, and that I can gauge this year from is what you're starting off with. And you're starting off with a 140-pounder. So it's not the best start. But what you do with this start is everything. How you do it with this start is everything. You're going to have to flatline this guy. You're going to have to be Mike Tyson in like 85, Okay. For, for this fight to really help you and cement you right now. But those are my thoughts. I want you all to tell me what you think down below. And as always, I need you to like, and I also need you to subscribe.